morning YouTube. So we finished looking at the channel selection last video and I skipped over this favorites which is a new feature in the 5.5 version of DVB link. You can just create one or more lists. Uh, favorites uh, I think is the one they have predefined and then you can just tag channels to either be in that list or not in that list and you can create new channel lists so you could have say sports and children's programming and news and movies things like that so you can have as many lists as you want and those lists are exported to all the DVB link clients so if you have other devices that access your DVB link server they all inherit those lists the only one that doesn't, it doesn't seem to export to the Kodi DVB link client. The advantage of doing it here, if you use, uh, say, smart TVs or other PCs or access through the web streaming interface, is that you create your favorites list once, and then this list goes out to all of your devices and you don't have to set up a list on every device so that's that one here's the settings tab in the menu and the way DVB link works there's two different ports that they use one is what they call their base port and that's your admin port the one you use to access the configuration settings and then there's a streaming port which is where the web streaming happens, all of the media streaming, DLNA, and uh, so forth goes over the streaming port. You can also choose to forward those ports out through your wireless router or gateway. So you can enable forwarding on either the admin port or just the streaming port or both. You can set up authorization, so if you were uh, streaming your TV server outside of your home through the streaming port, for example, through your wireless router or gateway, you can enable authorization and then set up a username and password. And that would allow you to both watch recorded TV programs or live TV outside of your house, but you could also access the recording control. So if you wanted to add a program to be recorded or see what was coming up and record it if you were interested, you can do that through this uh, user authentication and then forwarding. So then there's this really nice monitoring feature. So I happen to have a one PC viewing a program here. So I'm using one tuner and let me fire up Kodi Media Player here and I'll tune in a, a different uh, channel and now you can see I've got uh, a different channel here gets you the bit rates this here is an SD channel I've got about two megabits a second here's a an HD 720p channel and it's what about nine megabits per second so you can see the bit rates. I'm going to stop on the Kodi and what I'm going to do is I'm going to tune a channel on the same RF channel. So I've tuned a different station on the same RF channel and you can see that I've only used one tuner. One of my four tuners is being used but I'm actually playing two different sub-channels on that one tuner and they've both got their own uh, different bit rates and I'm viewing them on different players so that's the monitoring feature that was added I think in version 5.0 so this all is under what's called the that base port and then when you go to the TV and media library you can see the this changes over to the 8100 or streaming port so this is your TV guide which comes up by default and let me pause here for a second